All right, guys. All right, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. It is now two o'clock in the fucking afternoon on Monday, March 14th, 2022. Here, down here in the oasis of freedom. So, uh, anyway, this is your old depressed collapsitarian just finding out how intractably. He is fucked. This is one more. Uh, they, these, you're fucked if you do. You're fucked if you don't. No matter which fucking way you turn, you're fucked. And that's uh, with these goddamn buildings, uh, which I finally, as you recall, uh, a few days, I, I said, fuck it. I'm done with this. This is a fucking joke. It's hopeless. This motherfucking shit is eating my brain. I put both those motherfucking buildings and everything else left on my goddamn property on fucking Craigslist for $9,999. Got it up there on fucking Craigslist. Got it up there on fucking Facebook Marketplace. I uh, just spent, what was it, $72 uh, on a classified ad in the local fucking newspaper. I have gotten one, well, not counting scammers, uh, I, I have gotten one call, and now I've lost that person. So what I've been out doing all day is just going around to these people who sell you know, who sell tiny houses and sheds and outdoor kitchens and talking to contractors and shit. And uh, so you go up to these places and look at what they got for sale for a hell of a lot more money, I, you know, than, than, you're, than I'm talking about buying uh, places. I, I'm talking about, I mean, they're better grade, you know, they're better grade than that bullshit you buy at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, you know, but they're still shit compared to what I have. They, you know, these custom-built, site-built things with this beefy cypress lumber. Compared to what I have for sale, these things are flimsy fucking pieces of shit uh, that, that are going to be worthless in about five years. They, they got hurricane bait written all over them. Uh, they're, they're, they're clearly, as they say, while not quite Home Depot grade garbage, they're, they're pieces of shit. And so I've been to four places now, four of these shed builders, and, uh, you know, shown them my ad, and, and every one of these uh, guys agrees that what I have for sale is a hell of a lot nicer than the product they're selling. I mean, there, there's no denying uh, that what I have for sale is a hell of a lot uh, better product than the shit they're selling, that the shit they're selling, it's undeniable, and uh, so I am, you know, just so I am just trying to sell them. I, I said, listen, guys, uh, you know, this is what I have for sale. It's already prefabricated, ready to go pick up in my yard. Every one of them agrees. Damn good material. It's a good product you're selling, and it's a damn good price. And guess what? They don't want any fucking thing to do with it. And it is because of the fucking police state that uh, because I did not get permits on these buildings, even though I haven't been busted by the county, makes no fucking difference. The permit for these buildings, to put either one of these buildings up is $229. So if you want to get a permit for them, the permit you pay the county is $229. There is one small fucking catch. In order to get the permit, the $229 permit, 
for each one of these buildings, you are to make them, quote, legal, you're going to have to get, you know, some fucking Florida state certified uh, architect to come out there, uh, you know, go through the buildings and, and draw blueprints off of the buildings. They, a, a fucking state licensed architect, certified structural engineer is, is going to, that, that I would have to hire some guy to come out here, do all these fucking blueprints. The process, they said, if, if, if you could do this in the next six to eight weeks will be a fucking miracle and you're going to be looking at about two thousand dollars per building so you're looking at about four thousand fucking dollars e even though they admitted that the uh they are they would pass the, you see what i'm saying uh the drawings would would pass you know the the these goddamn tiny house and and barn and shed builders i mean just looking at what i've got they said they would they would clearly pass all of uh, you know the codes that they're overbuilt to code so there's no problem with them being built to code there will be no problem getting the 229 dollar fucking permit but you're gonna have to get this motherfucking architect to do these and without the uh and without the goddamn stamp uh from the architect on the uh you know on the goddamn blueprints uh they're they're illegal buildings and no fucking contractor especially these guys you know in the fucking business of building these buildings uh, are going to touch these things. N they're not going to fucking touch them with a 10 fucking foot pole that they, you know, they already have all of their, you know, models. You know, let's say each one of these guys has eight models. Uh, they've already been approved by the county. So you buy one of these inferior buildings inferior buildings at a jacked up price and uh, you take it down there to the county and you give the county $229 because uh, the price includes the, the, that you pay these guys who are in the business of doing that uh, automatically includes the approved blueprints. It, it has nothing to fucking do with the uh, quality of the materials or the workmanship. Even though uh, I, I have superior quality materials, superior workmanship, and a much better price, all in my favor, without those fucking papers, I am fucked. They said there is no fucking way uh, that you are going to get a, uh, you, you know, a, anybody with, with a licensed business going. No one's going to touch them. And so the only, you know, real call I've gotten on, uh, on this is this, uh, is this uh, campground up there in Ocala. And, uh, you, you know, and I know the reason why they never called back, that the woman talked to her fucking uh, manager, you, you know, her builder, and uh, he told her that, that uh, I'm sure he agrees with her and me that uh, for a, a damn good price, she could get a superior building and he is advising her, do not fucking touch it with a 10 fucking foot pole. Uh, good fucking God, if, uh, it, 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 if, if I can get rid of this shit, uh, you, you know, for 5,000 fucking dollars, uh, I'll be lucky.
you know, I wish this here's a guy here. I wish he would be out here. I'd like to go, like to go talk to him. Uh, so anyway, uh, I, I, I'm sitting here uh, with, with about uh, thirty thousand dollars worth of uh, stuff. I uh, can't give it away. Right, look, look at that little building. That was the building that I originally started to be goddamn, uh, you know, goddamn well that that building there is illegal. I, I can take you to 500 illegal buildings like this. And, and the fucking county has never busted me on these buildings. It was environmental health. Uh, I had to rip out the plumbing and I had, I had to rip out the plumbing and the electricity out of the buildings. Uh, but the buildings themselves, even though the guy at uh, Environmental Health fucking ratted me out to the building department. Almost a year ago, he ratted me out. Someone from the fucking county ratted me out to the fucking building department. And nobody gives a fuck. And, 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 and the guys at the, at, you know, at the shed place uh, agreed that the, that the guys at the building department don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know? Nobody gives a fuck, including the guys at the building department. But nobody is, is, is going to touch this. Uh, with a fucking 10-foot pole because of these motherfucking blueprints because nobody wants to get in trouble uh, by the man. It's just, uh, and, and the thing about taking him to New York, I, the, the very same, you know, this is what I was thinking. The, I, I would drag these motherfucking things, spend thousands of dollars getting these motherfucking things up to New York, uh, and put them up there or you know several of you have said why don't you just move them to your other spot uh, in, in Florida the land you just bought because it doesn't matter where the fuck you any uh, are anymore uh, th th this goddamn police state has everybody j you know just gripped in terror Jesus fucking Christ I'll probably end up just driving off and leaving the motherfucking things behind. You know, ten thousand dollars down the fucking toilet, but because of this fucking horse shit. You know, we're we're just fucked. Can't build a fucking. Uh, you can't build a little screened-in kitchen and, and a fucking eight by ten foot shed. Uh, without having to worry about the fucking cops. Anyway, go down here and talk to my neighbor. See if uh, what I can unload these goddamn things for. If anybody wants a rock solid bottom price on these those beautiful places, you know how to find me. Bye guys.